Hey everyone, it's Dr. Hodges, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about protein, protein, protein. Um, my office manager was going to join me, um, but she hadn't gotten her hair done just yet, and so she was like, I will just give you some of my protein options. And so I wanted to go over these because it's so important that you're getting your protein in. My patients will know that I will never, ever, ever, ever fuss at you for your weight your weight loss or lack thereof. However, I will always get on to you about your protein. If you are having issues with nausea after surgery, it's probably due to inadequate protein intake. If you're having some difficulty swallowing, a lot of times it's because you're having inadequate protein intake. Having some hair thinning? Does so you feel like your hair is getting, you're losing some of it? Probably because you're not doing enough protein. So I've done a couple of different videos on this before, but now I wanna kinda of show some more options that might be available to you. Laura had some really good ideas and I just wanted to share them with you. So let's get started. So right here we can see um, a bunch of different protein supplements that are out there. The one that I did not have right here right now is um, the vital proteins collagen. However, I did make a, um, a video on this um, here in the past. I really like the vital proteins. It dissolves completely in liquid and it gives you about 20 grams of protein if you put in two scoops. So one of my favorites, tried and true, is our Premier. With Premier, it's 30 grams of protein and 160 calories. This is my personal favorite. This is literally just came out of my fridge. I really like the chocolate, but a lot of people will put this in um, in their coffee or they'll get one that's um, the vanilla or the caramel one. They'll put that in their coffee and they make like an iced coffee or they'll just use that as their creamer. Glucerna now has a high protein shake as well as Ensure. If you're using Ensure, you need to make sure that you get the Protein Max because that will give you the 30 grams of protein and 150 calories. If you get regular Ensure, it is not enough protein, okay? There is PB Fit, I love PB Fit. Now, there's not a lot of protein in it, as you can see, there's only eight grams. However, this is a great way to flavor the different proteins. So if you're making a chocolate protein shake, you can totally add a scoop of this as opposed to putting in a scoop of peanut butter and then you can get um, a good um, protein taste because you can see two tablespoons is 70 calories, whereas two tablespoons of peanut butter is 200. So. This is a really good option for you guys. Um, let's see. She also, she really likes this ISO 100. There's this one that's chocolate. She has this one that is, this is, let's see, which one is this? This is the vanilla. And so oftentimes she'll add the PB2 or the PB Fit to both of these just to kind of change things up. Now, I thought that this was kind of cool. She loves this one. This one tastes like Dunkin' Cappuccino. I mean, she will just add some milk to this and now, or she'll even add this to her coffee or we'll add Gene Pro to the coffee. And now you have a coffee drink that's, you know, 20, let's see, this one would be 25 grams of protein. And this one, depending on the number of scoops, would be about 30. As a little disclaimer about Gene Pro, Gene Pro used to have a much higher protein content, and I would talk about making protein, um, different protein um, shots, but you can now see that the protein has gone down, okay? So now for the newest generation of Gene Pro, one scoop of Gene Pro is about 10 grams of protein. So that's gonna be about the same um, amount of protein that you would get in the Vital Proteins Collagen. So that's just something for you to remember. And then the final one that she told me about, I thought that this was really cool, is Precision Protein. This one is called Cinnamon Cereal Crunch. She was like, oh my gosh, this tastes just like cinnamon crunch cereal. So you can make a protein drink out of this. She said they even have one that tastes like Fruity Pebbles. And so she said you could make, get your milk, put this in it, 
and then like if it's a fruity pebble one and then use that over like just plain Cheerios and now your Cheerios will taste like fruity pebbles. I was like, oh my God, that's brilliant. Brilliant. Another um, protein option that I do not have here is actually going to be Fairlife Milk. I know that you guys have heard me talk about Fairlife Milk. I love it. One cup of Fairlife is going to be 13 grams of protein. It's very low in sugar. They have a really good chocolate milk. I was talking to a patient earlier and I suggested that um, maybe just go get some sugar-free hot cocoa mix. I mean, that's really low in sugar. I mean, clearly it's sugar-free. Make your hot cocoa and um, use it with Fairlife milk and then um, put in, um, and that would give you, that's 13 grams right there, and then put in one or two scoops of the Vital Proteins Collagen, and now you can have a 30 gram cup of hot cocoa. So I just don't think you can beat that with a stick. I'm giving you these different options because I want you to know that there's more than one way to skin a cat. There is always, always going to be a way for you to get to your protein. I will have a lot of patients that will come to me and they are like, I tried everything. And I'm like, that is a lie. No, you have not. I mean, the health industry, it is, this is a, this is a billion dollar industry. Believe me, there are protein supplements out there. There's one, uh, there's another one that I don't have here that's really good. It's called Egg Whites International. And if you go to www.eggwhitesint.com, that actually comes in a pump and it's egg whites, but it's not goopy like egg whites. Um, one pump I believe is, um, I believe it's three grams. Yeah, it's three grams of protein per pump. And I think you can do, if you do six pumps, that's 18 grams of protein. Um, it even comes in chocolate, so there you go. And actually, I think the Vital Proteins also comes in chocolate, so it looks like you can't beat that with a stick. So I hope that these have helped you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions or your own little hacks for getting in protein, please let us know because I would love to be able to share it with my patients. So there is no excuse. I will never, ever, ever accept an excuse that you can't get your protein in. I'm telling you, that's the only thing that I'll ever fuss at you for. So go out there, get creative. There are really good, tasty ways for you to get your protein in, okay? You'll feel so, so much better. And your hair will grow. Bye.